Hello everybody and a good day to you all today. I am talking about She-Ra and the Princesses of Power. This is season number four. I gotta say, I love the season so much. Oh my God, it was so good. It was so good. So many things happened. People who we thought were dead are actually still alive. Alliances happened. We didn't think it was gonna, think it was gonna actually happen. People, positions of power have, have changed. You also find out the truth about She-Ra and her purpose on, on, on this world. And why she was brought there in the first place? Uh, holy mother. And we also found out that Light Hope might not be the, actually the good guy after all. I just, what? What? Yeah. People who were friends are not friends anymore. People who who thought were, were like, um, weren't friends but they become friends. I was like, oh my gosh. People accept their destiny, who they, were, who they truly are. I mean, a whole lot happened in this season. I mean, it has a funny. It was funny as well too. It has, a, it has a silly moments, silly moments in it as well. But it also was very um um it had some dark moments as well too. It, 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 life threatening events that actually happen and like things. Big changes happen. Big changes happen. A lot. And we even had a musical. Why not? Hit everything. I mean, it was dark. It was funny. It had action. It, it was it was thrilling. It also had a, had a mystery. And it also had a musical. Like, what else do you want? Because first off, you have, um, you have, um, Glimmer, who's now the queen now. And she got a her in row as the queen. And as the queen, she can't just run out with, um, Adora and Bo like she used to. She can't just run out with missions like that. She's the queen. And she gets hurt. Like, What's going to happen? It's going to mess up. There's going to be chaos. So she has, so they, so she pretty much has to stay at the, at the palace. And because she had to stay at the palace and watch Bo and Adora and even Swift playing go out there on their own, she, she feels lonely. She misses her friends. She misses the dynamic, dynamic. The thing though, they, they do things that she's not a part of anymore. They have, they, they, and the, 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 the whole dynamic has changed. She, they, they, the jokes are different now because she wasn't there. And so she's feeling a little left out. She's feeling a little insecure about that. And she's, she, she's so eager to be part of it that she was, that she's willing to do things that are not, well, correct or right. Because she wanted to prove to everybody that she, not only can she be queen, but she can still fight too. She can, she, she can, I can still go out there and do stuff. I can still do the missions and stuff like that well too. And be queen. I can do it all. And you got a door taking a little bit more, taking on a little bit more charge because she actually knows a little bit more because she's been out there. And then that, you got a, a, a glimmer feeling a little insecure that, that people are listening to a door more than her. And it's just, what the, what? I'm the queen. And that starts some rifts there too, which causes her to start getting advice from Shadow Weaver, which also rubs the door the wrong way because the, uh, Shadow Weaver has been manipulating the door mostly all of her life, and now she's seen that happen to her friend, and that starts conflicts there too. Now the door saying, "You can't let that woman, you can't let that woman tell you what to do." Blah 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 blah. And then and then says, "I'm the queen. I just can do whatever I want to." Okay. Okay. You don't tell me what to do, and that and then Bo in the middle of this. Hey, why can't we all just get along? Okay, we're friends. We're friends, right? We're friends. I love you. You love me. We love them. We love each other. Let's hug it out and sing a song or something. Come on. Come on now. Please stop. Okay? My heart can only take so much. I got my heart on my shirt. See that? And you got Swift Wing being Swift Wing in an appropriate times, but he's still amazing. I, I, like, I love that character. I really do. We all we also get introduced to a new character, Double Trouble. Double Trouble, voiced by um, Jacob T Tobiah, and I love this character because he reminds me of um, a, a puck. A, a, he's a she's a shifter. He can shape shift, and he pretty much likes to everything. Everything to him is a, is a play. Everything to him is theater and acting, and he's not really a, a good guy. He's a bad guy, but he doesn't really care who he messes with, the good guys or the bad guys. All he wants to do is like watch a show and he creates drama like he when he shapes shifts he observes people watches them see what their strengths are see what their weaknesses are see what they're scared about and then that he pokes at that and then he steps back and then watch the show and while you're so busy arguing with each other starting fights with one another no matter if you're good or you're bad he's just sitting there back in the corner laughing his butt off just watching the chaos in front of him I mean, he did, he did it with Adora and Glimmer because Ad Ad Glimmer is feeling insecure about the fact that she can't be out in the field anymore. Adora is feeling insecure that she, that she, that she feels as though she's not helping her friend out. Because the thing is, you know, everything Adora is doing, is her, is her, she, she wants to help everybody. She wants to save the world. But the thing is, at the same time, though, she feels as though she's failing. She feels as though she's not really living up to her potential as She-Ra. And she's she feeling insecure about that. And so, and a Glimmer, like I said, insecure about not 
living on to her being, um, being as queen and not fulfilling all her destiny as well too. Both people want to help. Both people want to save Eternia, but at the same time, they have all these doubts and stuff in their head, and then you got this, this other guy in here just poking at it and poking at it, and as you know, they clash. Even um Catra, who wants to be, who wants to save, who wants to be the leader, wants to be in charge. At the same, I wants to prove that she that she's worthy of love and affection and having friends in her life. But at the same time, because of her insecurities, she pushes everybody away. She slashes, she, she gets angry at everybody. She, um, she, the thing is though, Adora, who she loved, left her. Everybody who she loved, left her. And so she feels as though, I have to put on this brave front and force my rule on people so they won't leave me. But the same, but by, by her forcing herself on people, she makes them want to run away. A Scorpio, who was loyal to her to a T, took all the abuse, took all the pain. No matter how many times a, a, a Scorpio tried to show that she loved her, Catch just slashed at her. I told her she was worthless. Or I told her she was stupid. And next thing you know, she left her. And then when, she, when the person who was there for the whole time finally left her, she realizes, oh crap, I'm alone. The only person she had in her life was Hordak, who, 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 who's also feeling alone and abandoned because he was rejected by his brothers because he, because the thing is though, he was a reject. He was, and then, but but, but Attractor loved him. Attractor accepted him for who he was, flaws and all. And he finally had a friend there too. And then when Catra manipulated that and said that uh, Attractor was just playing on the whole time and left him, he couldn't handle that either. So uh, the, the, what the interesting about the show is, even though the bad guys are the bad guys, they have layers to them. Their motivations, you understand it. You know where it's coming from. And the, and the, even worse. So not, well, I don't want to say worse. Even better, you actually feel sorry for them a lot of times too, because you understand what, 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 where all this pain is coming from while they're lashing out. Because Hardak wants to rule, wants to take over Eternia, not because he's the evil for evil's sake. He, he, he just wants to prove to his brothers, I'm worthy. See, I'm good, right? I could be part of you again. I could be by your side again. I could be your brother again. So you could love me too, right? Right? That's all he wants. Everybody here wants love. Everybody here wants approval. Everybody here wants to be accepted. Everybody wants people to see them for who they are and accept them, flaws and all. But the way they go about it is what messes, messes, messes everybody up. Like, oh, oh. Which causes conflict, which causes hurt, which causes pain. I mean, in Chapter, people. Much wants to be accepted too, as well too. But she feels as though no she feels as though nobody understands her. Nobody really loves her for who she is. So she turns to robots. Cause, Cause she can make them she can make them love her. She can make them understand her. She can make them feel for her. Everybody else the thing she just cause the thing is though she's awkward. She's she, she, even though people do love her, people do care about her, she doesn't understand how to act, interact with people and so she doesn't understand how people can like love her and see her for who she is. And so she pushes them away and just turns and turns to um and turns to um the machines. And even when she joined the, the bad side, she wasn't joining the bad side because she loved being the bad people. She just joined the bad guys because machines, they had machines there and, and first world tech. So she said, so she said, well, they have what I like and this, this is who I, I know who will be there for me. So that's why I'm, I'm surrounding myself with this. Like, oh, oh my gosh. I love this. This series was, was just amazing. It was, it was amazing. And then the twist and the turn I didn't see coming. Like, um, you have um, Micah the king, this is a spoiler right here. You know what? I don't think I'm, I don't think I'll say it. I don't think I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna say it. But like I said, all I gotta say is things happen I didn't see coming, and I just wow, wow. Overall, I, 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 I rating this whole entire season for, for number four. I'll give it an A plus, A plus all the way, all the way from the storytelling. So the action sequences, the animation has always been great. I love the style of the characters. So the characters themselves, I like them, the motivations like that too. And even like, because it's not all perfect, it's not all black and white, and everybody's not just one good or just all bad. They, they make mistakes, they, make, they, they fail as well too, but, they, but, they, but, but you do watch them learn from their mistakes and move, and move forward and then become better as the people. I mean, thank, huge major changes has, has happened in this season that they can't come, come back from. Especially with Adora and the whole serious situation. Oh, different world. it's a whole different world now. It's a whole different world. New bad guys, new everything. I'm looking forward to season number five. I don't know what they're going to go from here, but wow. Well done. Well done. 
And a lot of times, when they introduce a new character, sometimes it can be a little bit annoying, but I really did like the Double Trouble. I didn't like his name, though. I didn't like his name. But I did like the character as a whole. So, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this episode, of this whole season of she -Ra. If you haven't watched it, check it out for yourself. Hopefully, when you watch it, you will enjoy it. And I've been watching it, too. So, give my channel a like, hit the thumbs up, shup -boop, and subscribe to my channel and share. I would appreciate it, like I always say in my video life. I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples.